Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, The Fit Vegan Nurse. My name is Erin and I'm almost 50 years old. So I'm here to prove to you that at any age, under any circumstance, in any situation, fitness is for you. And I want to influence everybody to get in the best shape of your life. Before you do anything, please like and subscribe to this channel in order for YouTube to push out my videos to everybody so we can all be influenced to stay happy and healthy. Today I'm going to be working legs and I'm going to be showing you what you can do in the gym and then the alternatives you can do at home. So you can do legs anywhere, anytime, without equipment and I'm going to show you today. And the best thing about legs is that they're a huge muscle group, so you're going to be getting a full body workout. It's going to increase your heart weight and therefore increase your metabolism. And you're going to be able to burn fat more because your metabolism will be higher. So stay strong, everybody. Come with me and I'll see you all out there. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Okay guys, so the first exercise I always start with legs is the most difficult, the barbell squat. I make sure to get under the bar safely and I lift my chest, brace the core, feet a little more than hip width and apart, feet a little, slightly out a little bit, and you can go down as far as you can comfortable, but you gotta make sure you have perfect form. So drive your knees forward, hips back and down, keeping the chest up, keeping the core on. This is a full body workout. You've got the legs, including the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, all of the core. We even have the calf muscles working. Safely put the bar back, and then I'm going to show you the body weight version. This would be a beginner's version. So again, feet outside your hips. You can drive your knees out, and you're going to go down and up. And you can start with just a 90 degree angle if you're new. And you can keep your hands up. Again, your chest is up, abs are on nice and tight. And you can do about 15 to 20 reps of these. Okay, for the next exercise, we're going to do body weight lunges. You always want to start in a perfect position to work out with weights. Lift your chest, brace your core, feet a little more than hip width distance apart. And you're going to take a long step back, keeping your feet hip width distance apart. You can put your hands on your hips. You're going to go down as far as your front leg is parallel to the floor, pushing through that front heel, squeezing the glute as you rise. This is a great exercise, again, for the quads, for the glutes, for the hamstrings, for the core, and even the calves. So you can do about 12 to 15 reps, whatever you're comfortable. Usually the last three should be a bit challenging. I'm going to reset and go to the other side. Okay, so for the next move, I'm going to show you the beginner's version of the step up. So you're going to get a step that's not high at all. Use dumbbells in your hands and you're going to go one side at a time and just stepping up. You're going to get 12 on each side, so a total of 24. You're keeping your chest up. Your abs are on and you're pushing through your heel as you're coming up. This is a progression. It's the easy version of the next step ups that I'm going to show you. This is really good for strength. Okay, so the next version is going to be a more of an advanced version on the high step. It's about 20 inches. So the important thing to do is to make sure you finish the move before you plant your other foot on the box. So you're going to push with your heel, make the move complete, and then put your other leg down. That's going to ensure that you're working 
your glutes and your hamstrings and your quads. So you're going to do the right side and then the left side. The right side and then the left side. Keeping your chest up, keeping your core on, making sure you're completing that whole move on the way up. So push through the heel, finish the move, and then set the foot down. Good. That's exactly what you want to do for these. These are a very... Okay, guys, so for our next exercise, we have a dumbbell deadlift. You want to make sure that your feet are a little more the hip width distance apart. Feet are slightly facing out. There's different variations. I'm doing more of a straight-legged deadlift. You want to keep your neck and your back neutral. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. We're working our hamstrings and glutes, you know, including the core here. So this is great for the back side. Here's what it should look from the side view. You notice my back is neutral. And for the final exercise, we have the famous glute bridge, which is a perfect exercise for the glutes. You lie down on a yoga mat, push your hips toward the floor, push through your heels, tuck your chin in toward your chest, squeeze your glutes.